Yeah, that's not too bad. That's only like 2,800 rupees altogether. Alright, let's see if we can't, um, get another look. Damn it. There it is. Alright. So it looks like using the chart we can actually just plot our own little course here. Okay, it's a little bit to our right. It's still a little bit to our right. Let's try right there. Oh, it looks like we got it. That's a piece of the Triforce, all right. We need seven shards. I don't know how many shards we have. That's probably our first one. Uh, how many charts do we have now, though? We have one, two, and three. So, I guess we might as well take those up to Beetle. Not Beetle. Uh, up to Tingle. There we go. You know, I think we can actually warp straight to Tingle Island. Hang on. Ugh. There we go. Yep, we can. There we go. I'm oh, sorry. I'm trying to look up the ghost ship chart here. Hey, Tingle. Okay, it says it's an A6 Diamond Step Island. You need the hookshot to find it. I don't understand why they made him an essential part in figuring out how to get the Triforce pieces. But they sure did. <laughs> for once you're actually where I parked you. Neat. So let's see if we can um, warp to the upper right hand corner where that other Triforce chart was. Because I just remembered that and we should have done that before we came here. No, we can only go to Dragon Roost from here. Um, so... I think A6 is there, so 
If we can work somewhere close by, that would be helpful. <coughs> yeah, we can go to Great Fish Isle, that's pretty close. You know what we should have done? Actually, I think I'm just going to warp us there instead. To the power of editing. Wow, look at that smooth transition from uh, Tingle Island to Outset Island when we totally just warped somewhere else. It's like magic. So, I'm pretty sure, at least, we have enough Knight's Crests. Yeah, we've got 28. That's well more than enough. Also, I think our grandma will give us soup now, but I'm not sure. So we'll find out about that, too. Of course, after coming here over and over, just like, I want soup from grandma. I want soup from grandma. You know what we need? Soup from grandma. And then we just didn't get it over and over again. Well, here we are, now doing the same thing, only this time we may actually get it when we could have got it when we were just here a little bit ago. Isn't that lovely? Oh no, maybe we can't get it. It's still sad music. Oh, okay, cool. At least... At least my dreams of soup are not, you know, lost to the winds. <clears throat> well, they are right now, anyway. You know what? Just... My dreams just shouldn't exist in the first place, anyway. <laughs> Alright. Sup. I got you... Some of these crests. Alright, so hopefully I think this is the Great Spin Attack. <clears throat> yep, it sure is. Or the Hurricane Spin, whatever it's called. I remember it being called the Great Spin Attack in some other game. Oh, he's so happy! He's crying. So, we still actually have one challenge to do with him, but I really just don't care and don't think I'm even going to do it in this playthrough. And that's just hit him 500 times. And outside the fact that I like speeding up and playing music over, you know, long parts of video like that. <clears throat> I don't want to create those parts just for the sake of creating those parts. We've got well more than enough hearts and gear to take on Ganon and stuff, you know. And I think we will probably make this a shorter LP than, like, I don't know. It, it could be a much, much longer one than it's probably going to, is what I'm trying to say. I have interest in picking up, like, maybe all the hard pieces or something. We'll see. Though it's unlikely. I've done it before. And I don't particularly want to... You know, scour the game for heart pieces again. The, the big thing is the sea heart chart, because without that, your life is just miserable. Because you need that to know where there are 
pieces of heart in the ocean in certain places. <clears throat> and that's just a bitch, let me tell you. I mean, yes, we can get the chart and we can do the thing and we can go to all the platforms and we can search every spot in the sea. But it's long and a lot of effort. And I don't think I have that much effort to give. <laughs> I kind of want to just move on because I promised Dark Souls and I want to get to Dark Souls so that I can move on from that too, hopefully. Assuming I'm capable of defeating it. We will find out for sure, Z's. Because <clears throat> the only one I've beaten was the second one. And I wanted to do the first one before I wanted to do the second one, but it didn't turn out that way. It's funny because the second and third games run significantly better, even though they look significantly better. So I don't really... I don't... It just doesn't make any sense. Alright. Do that. Get ourselves over to this island and see what's up. Ugh, these friggin' giant pea hats are so annoying. That's the hammer link. Thank you. That's not going to work out. Hey, there's that. Ah. Oh. At least he hit it head on so that the King of Red Lions didn't friggin' go flying on me. Oh, this is the place with the chestnut mini golfing. <laughs> Cause that makes sense. I was gonna say, I got the ball in the hole, dude. Don't friggin' don't play that game with me. Ah. Oh shit. And that's why I brought a nut with me. Oh, apparently it respawns. Hmm. Oh, that one went in. Awesome. Yay, dumb luck. Oh no. Well, that was close. <clears throat> I was gonna say, I wish I could friggin' pull him off his helicopter thingies with the uh, hook shot like you do the little ones, but it doesn't work. I'm pretty sure the only way you can actually hurt those guys is the bow, but I don't really care to try, to be honest. They're kind of just there. If there's a whole lot of them and they're annoying, then...
then sure. But otherwise, meh. <laughs> it's a kaleidoscope. There's nothing even out there, is there? No. 